This video will cover an update that we've made to the Go1.js library. Now, I'm really excited about this, uh, much more excited than strictly having the ability to navigate Go1 around. Uh, this update to the Go1.js package now has the ability to get uh, the robot state. So I'm going to show the source code from the repo just uh, to give an overview of the structure, and then we'll take a look at an example. So. We have the state, we can get uh, interesting information about the battery management system, as well as some additional information from the robot, the ID, the uh, software that it's running. There's actually an interesting object called distance warning. So I encourage you to look through the structure of this object, but the ultimate goal uh, for creating this is this library will serve as the foundation for uh, the DroneBlocks app to interface with Go1. And so I figured it's important not only to be able to control Go1, but be able to receive some information from uh, the robot and then make decisions. So this is just a quick demonstration. You'll see here that I have some basic blocks that we're working on to move forward, right, back and left, just to do a small box uh, mission. And then I'll go ahead and play this. It's nothing incredibly exciting, but uh, you can see we're beginning the foundational work for being able to do uh, block programming with Go1. All of that sitting on top of uh, this Go1.js library. Uh, let's take a look at a couple examples. I encourage you to follow along and uh, try these out. Obviously, let us know if you run into any issues. The first one I'll do is called a get state. And what this example will do is uh, Go1 will just stand up and down, kind of do uh, push-ups, if you will. At the same time, we'll uh, be monitoring Go1's uh, battery remaining or state of charge. And so once it goes beneath a certain threshold, we'll have a green, orange, and red. I'll actually change these values so that we don't have to sit through uh, a full battery cycle uh, to see them work. I have a starter a node project here, and I've added the Go1 package to it, but let me just demonstrate how that works. We'll do the npm i at droneblocks slash go1-js. It will pull that from npm and just double check in your package.json file that uh, you see at least version 0 0.1.0. .0. So that's the version with the state information, the robot state information. I'm going to just copy some of this code in. This code comes directly from uh, the example code in the repo associated with this module. So I'm going to uh, change these values. You can see if the battery is greater than 75, if it's between 50 and 75, and then less than 25. But uh, to make this demo a little bit easier, we'll say 95, then I'll do 90, between 90 and 95, and then finally uh, less than 90%. So that'll just make this go a little bit quicker. And what's cool is we have this uh, state change event that gets uh, passed from Go1 or the MQTT instance. Once it changes, publishes the state object and we're handling it here. Now, once again, I demonstrated that in the library. I encourage you to go uh, look at that. It's under the source code folder and then a state, go1-state, you'll see the different information in there. It's not all currently being populated, but uh, just explore and give some feedback and, and let us know uh, what you end up doing with it. With my example code in place, let me go ahead and power up Go1, connect, and then we'll uh, do this demonstration. I'll go ahead and run our index.js script. The main function will be called and the state information will start being observed as well as the push-up sequence beginning. You'll see that our battery state of charge is at 94%. So we've gone into the orange state. So we'll continue to run this and wait for the battery to get to less than 90, which will then turn red. And one call out that I'd like to make is that it's been our understanding just through research that uh, the state information updates probably 
one to two times a second, so one to two hertz. If you're trying to do stuff such as uh, getting uh, distance warnings, which I'll cover in an upcoming video, just make sure that you keep that in mind. We're not updating at a high frequency, but at a frequency fast enough to do some interesting stuff. So uh, let me go ahead and fast forward and we'll see when Go1 gets to less than 90%. We're now at 89%. The LEDs have gone red. So you can see how this works and go ahead and cancel the script. And take manual control with your remote. I'll wrap this demonstration up by just saying that I encourage you to explore the state object, see what you can do with it. Also in our source code repository, here on the right side is the actual project. There is an example called avoid obstacle. And what this does is it uses the state object to get information from the sensors, the distance warning front, back, left, and right. And this example is pretty basic, but what it does is it just infinitely loops while we're getting information from the Go1 state object. And if the distance warning of the front cameras goes above 0.75, the LED color will turn to red and Go1 will lay down. So the way you would do this is fire up the script slowly walk go on towards an object such as a wall or a box and then you'll notice that go one's led will turn red and it will lay down really excited about uh, the state information we'll be working to improve this this is just a basic integration so far please give it a try let us know what you think and until next time thanks for watching